Brothers. Today we are going to see the next topic in object oriented program encapsulation. So what is an encapsulation we have already heard like the hiding a value outside a class or outside an object is called encapsulation. So here you, you can uh, see like I have defined three methods one is initialization one is cell another one is set max price so what i am going to do i have defined a class computer for that initialization i have taken no argument no arguments but i am taking cell for this also no arguments self so i am printing the value whatever i have set here cell dot price so whatever the price value i have set here i am printing in the cell method in next one is set max price here I am taking a, another variable that is price. So I am asking the user what value he required. And when he set, it will be set to the self max price and that price will be displayed. So if there is an update, then the owner only can edit it. No other can edit it. So what I am going to do? I am going to define C equals to computer of. That means object initialized. What, what we can call? object initialized okay then as object initialized in the object in it i have specified the price as 900 so when i do print uh, c dot cell when i fun i will call this function what will happen this cell function will be called and it will be printing selling price so the output will be what selling price 900 selling price 900 so using this i am unable to i am unable to do any changes just i have initialized and i am printing it now check whether i am i am able to change the value or not as c dot underscore underscore price that means this variable has been updating here equals to thousand but as it is defined with underscore underscore it is uncap encapsulated that means for encapsulating a value we need to use underscore underscore before the variable before the identifier or before an attribute before an attribute what we need to use we need to use underscore underscore which means encapsulation which means encapsulation so now see what I did C dot price equals to thousand I put and when I am calling again C dot cell then what it need to do it need to give me a thousand value but it will give you only the output 900 it will give you the output 900 that is selling price 900 selling price 900 that means the value is being not changed the value is being not changed but we have an underlying point that the values which are encapsulated can be changed only in the class methods only using the class methods so what i am going to do i have defined another another method in which i am taking the value asking the user to give a value and i am assigning it to the underscore underscore price now this is inside class this is inside class so what is happening now this price will be whatever the value you will give here it will be updated to this uh, this price so when what i am going to do c dot set max price of thousand so what i have given i called this method and i have given a value thousand and i am running c dot cell then what will happen what will happen it will be thousand the output will be selling price thousand that means using this example you can clearly identify that that the value will can be changed only through the class methods no other way to change it for more queries and details reach me over Vicent technologies or reach me online through gangboard.com thank you